Hello there. Um, today I'm my ep epilepsy's playing up, so I won't be doing a long class today. It's basically a pencil review today. It ma it does matter, and if you're just starting out, just anything you've got is good enough. But we got. I thought take a look at these different ones. Um, this is the very basic rubber tipped HB and to be honest you can't go wrong with these the only down point to them is is trimming the wood off it's bad for the environment and that is the only bad thing with them this I'll put it here just to show you it's the Apple Pencil that is for my iPad so I'm going to put that aside out of the rest of them we've got um, the bulky pencil which if you take some of this wood off and use a nail file you can get it down really blunt and that makes it really really good for sketching and easy to rub out as well so that is worth taking note of. That is the Derwent sketching pencils. The rotoring pencils, they go as you can see there, go down to 0.35. Um, that that is a really really thin line. You can go quite light on it as well on the surface so it it comes off easy enough. It's alright, it's alright for doing the edges, doing the edges of a drawing, but it can damage your paper. These ones, the fabric castle ones. You can get them in a different range of B's and H's. I think from 8B to 6H, I think. I've bought one for each lead, but you can get lead refills. So you could basically swap them over into the same pencil. That's what's called a clutch pencil. If you look at the edge... When I pr press it, that opens up there, and that's why that is called a clutch pencil. This one here I used yesterday, the Derwent Precision. To be honest, that is probably one of the best technical pencils I've used yet. And I think I'm going to be using that one a lot more in the future. These one are the Graftone pencils, they can't, that's an 8B one, and that would be good for filling in back areas. What I like to do when I'm, say for example, you've got something like that and you want to fill in this whole area there, I'll go over it with that first, so it's coloured in like that. And then I use probably a really sharp HB to go over that or a 4B. And it'll come out a lot darker then. Um, I haven't used these pencils that much to be honest. It will be interesting to, to give them a go and see what they come out, out like when they're wet. Because you can use them similar to a paintbrush as well. But, yeah, that's the uh, other Derwent ones. To be honest, out of all these, the one I've used the most is this one. But that's because I haven't had mechanical pencils a lot. The rubber can be trusted on it. You just have to clean it. The way you do, do that is just use a clean piece of paper to get the dirt off and your rubber's fine again after that 
Um, I would say after that one, my favourite one has got to be the Derwent Precision Pencils. I'm going to invest in some more of those at some point. <coughs> Excuse me. And um, that came out really, really dark yesterday, and I liked it the way it, way it came out out so dark for a, what is supposed to be a HB pencil. So yeah, we'll. We'll be using that one a lot more when we do the videos. And obviously for for shade in the Faber Castle ones, the clutch pencils are expensive. But they do the job. They're really, really good with doing the job. I tend to stray away from traditional pencils and stick with these. Unless I'm doing a an outline that, for example, is a sp specific person, I would use a r really blunt one of these. Use it. I mean, I personally use a knife to blunt it down, but you can use a na nail file. And um, like I said, fill that back in. What that does is it it will give you full pat. Look at that as a full page. Say A4. You filled that in there. And it will give the paper itself a little bit of protection. You've got a coating of graphite then that will stop you damaging it too much with the mechanical pencils. Excuse the noise. Windows open, um, and then then go over the top like that, and it just puts it into place. It just puts it into place and gives you a nice dark color, and that's even with a HB, either a HB or a 2B pen pencil. I'm not sure of the lead yet. But yeah, I don't like saying it because I was brought up using the traditional pencils. The Stedler ones. But, and yeah, I can use them easy enough and I, I do use them. But when you think of how I sharpen them, the wood is coming off it quite quickly. And it, in this day and age, it's not very helpful with the environment. Whereas these, they've got no, no wood whatsoever. Some either come with the eraser at the end, that one's broke. Or they may have a little sharpener in the end of it. And they're all round, all round decent pencils. So I, I would definitely recommend you, you give in a, even a cheap cheap one ago and see how it works for you or if you haven't got enough money if you can borrow one from someone just to try it for the night and do some drawing with it and see how it feels to you it may not be perfect perfect for you and you may prefer the traditional ones but those are the type of pencils I use. I can't think of any other ones I use at the moment. Short of my digital one, which I'll talk about when I go onto the digital art side of it. Um, and yeah, I think that wraps up the pencil review. And if this has been useful to you, if you could like and share. And um, hopefully next time I'm here um, which will will be next week sometime my head might be a little bit better it's just I cannot control my seizures if they come on so 
I've had to keep today's video short. And that wraps it up.